Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper, and today guys, I want to talk about if console mods could ever be a thing. Now, this is something that a lot of people in the community have been talking about lately, and I've seen a lot of Reddit posts and things like that, and I kind of wanted to bring this to the forefront if, you know, this could actually ever be a thing. Now, I'm not going to get into the specifics and bore you guys with all the technology and, you know, the requirements that would be for to put, uh, you know, mods on console to have mod tools on a PS4 or an Xbox or whatever. I'm just going to talk about more from a theoretical standpoint. Now you guys know, most of you are aware that World of War did have custom zombie support, and in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, we didn't really have a similar thing, and we were wanting mods to come back, you know, a full-fledged mod support mode, and that's just what would happen with Black Ops 3. We got a full-on mod support mode, and we have so many new assets being released, and right now, with the assets that we do have, the mods and the maps are pretty fantastic, and we're only about two months into this whole thing since mod tools have been released, and the maps are already this good, so I'm very excited, you know, what we're going to see in the future, but the thing is, we have never, ever had any any sort of mod support for consoles. Now, I would say that the majority of the Call of Duty players and the community is on a console, and there's like, I don't know what the exact numbers are, but I'm sure majority is on console, and there's like a significantly smaller portion on PC. And the mods, of course, are only on PC, but if they're bigger audiences on console, then why don't they add mods? This is something that the community has wanted for absolutely as long as I can remember. It's been forever. We've always wanted mods ever since it happened in World at War, but we wanted them easy and then for, you know, for them to be on console and uh, easy access because not everybody has PC. Console gaming is a lot easier than PC gaming. I mean, once you get to know it, then PC, you know, it, it kind of becomes very similar to console, but starting out, console is so much simpler to just pick up and start rather than, you know, a PC. To get my PC started, I really wasn't used to PC gaming a whole lot, and I'm still not, you know, a, an expert at it or anything like that or even close to it, but my buddy Payton actually ended up helping me out with it. He's helped me a ton of my PC. His channel will be in the description. He's actually helping me out with this gameplay right now. You'll see him in this. His channel name is Big Pay. It will be down below in the description. If you guys want to go show his channel some love, um, I would really appreciate that. But what I was saying is that so many people have wanted mods to be on console and it has never happened. We haven't really had any support or any really word from Activision or Trek or whoever it might be about mods for console. It's been as PC strictly thing. But why is that if the majority of the audience is on that? Now, like I said, I'm not going to go into the whole technical side of things and talk about why it could be impossible for it to run consoles because it isn't you know Bethesda has already shown us that mods are possible on console it may not be as advanced as PC but I think it is definitely still possible at least for zombies some people have made the argument that console mods would work just as well as PC as long as there's like some sort of workshop that you could download from just like how you do on Steam or whatever if you we had some sort of place to download maps where people could make them from um, they they people claim that you could use the exact same sort of I, I guess methods for downloading custom maps and playing them as just as you would on a PC at least for Call of Duty's case with custom zombies, I don't know how much of that is true, but let's just say, for instance, all impossibilities aside, that console for, you know, for PS4 and Xbox One had mod tools and you could go to a workshop and download a whole bunch of different custom maps and play a whole bunch of unique things. What would that actually look like and what would that mean? At least for me anyway, if console had mods, this would uh, solve the no content problem. You know how we have this content gap between Black Ops 3 DLC 4 and whatever Treyarch's next game is. I mean, obviously, we have zombies in Spaceland and whatever have, uh, whatever sledgehammer has up their sleeve, but we don't have Treyarch zombies unless we were playing on PC and we're playing customs, right? These are the only times that we can play the, the game mode that we truly have come to know and love is on either PC customs or when we, they actually drop it on their official games, but like I said, we have to wait a long time for that, so if there were console mods, I think that this would solve the thing where everybody's bored of the content that's already on console and they have to wait for so long for it to come out. If we had mods on there we had a lot of different maps, you could literally have, you know, new maps daily and that would kind of solve the DLC problem as well. Now, obviously, there's a couple arguments against that but honestly at the end of the day I would love to see mods come to console or at least some sort of form of mod tools they don't have to be as advanced as the PC ones are kind of like with the uh, Bethesda and their console mods it doesn't have to be as ramped up as those ones are but I think that they can at least have something for console you know a, maybe like a sample or a small portion of the mod tools that we have on PC could come to PS4 and Xbox one without you know too much I guess issues or troubles now I don't know all of the qualifications and you know the software required to run mods on console but I wouldn't imagine it would be too much difficult than to run on PC because they're almost the same thing when you think about it in essence. Um, I mean, obviously there are different technicalities of it, but if you really wanted to run mods on console and if there was something like a studio really dedicated to putting that into the game, I think it is definitely possible. So why don't they? I would like to think it's just because they don't have the resources or the time and the manpower to create that sort of thing for console, but I think that's not really their thing. I feel like if they really wanted to, since the majority of the audience is on console, that would be a, you know, a huge benefit to them. But the problem is, is that mod tools don't cause anything. You know, it doesn't really cost you any 
money to download these maps it's not you know a monetary thing where i gotta spend ten dollars to play this map nobody's really making money you know directly from this sort of stuff so why don't they do it i i honestly would say the reason is they want us getting bored of the content so we'll go and buy the next game pc is a little bit different but i think that on console they want us to be bored of the content that they've already given us so we're bored enough to buy the next game the only other explanation in my mind is that they really just don't have the time or manpower to put you know their original resources into this game that's already old they don't want to spend all their time doing that most of the studios probably working on the next trailer development of their game so they don't want to spend their time working on content that they already have that they're not necessarily making the most return on investment from does that make sense it could be both taken as a good thing and a bad thing you know it's a good thing that they're all putting their resources into the next trailer game to make it as good and, and as great as possible but the bad thing is is we're probably not going to get console mods at least for a long time anyway i know it's possible you know bethesda has shown us that console mods do work at least to some extent and i think they really wanted to activision and treyarch or whatever who's under this call of duty developing these uh, you know these other game modes for mods could do it if they really wanted to and put that time and money into that but I don't know if they're gonna do it for console PC is probably all we're gonna see for the foreseeable future anyway but eventually I would like to see mods happen for console so that's pretty much all I got for you guys today let me know what you guys think about this would you like to see mods come for console I think that I would definitely love to see them happen and I think it's definitely possible so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below if you would like to see this or not but anyway guys thank you everybody so much for watching the video if you guys did enjoy this make sure to drop a like and also make sure you do subscribe if you guys are new to the channel also if you're interested in checking out Peyton's channel he does more you know PC stuff his link to his channel will be down below in the description he does fantastic work uh, other than that guys hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys on the next video